Hello, it just keeps going. Another big news from Astar Network dropped last Friday. Astar has been lately announcing one impressive partnership after another, and this time it's with Sony. Astar and Sony teamed up to launch Web3 incubation program. So Astar and Sony will support new Web3 startup projects. In general, incubation programs are created with the aim to support and help new businesses and projects in their development. So in this case, Web3 incubation program will support new Web3 builders and and their projects. Sony will provide participating Web3 projects with business strategy, know-how and technical support. In addition to that, the presence of Sony in this incubation program is naturally very beneficial for the promotion and sponsorship as it will get traditional companies from Web2 more interested and in talking about Web3 technology and also more interested in Astar. One of the biggest issues of Web3 space currently still is its quite low adoption, to some degree probably still caused by the complexity of the Web3 space, so Sony, as famously known tech company, should serve as a bridge between Web2 space and Astar network. So for Astar it will be much easier to get into people's minds and break down this sort of distrust of Web3 space when big companies such as Toyota and Sony join Astar to launch events like Web3 Hackathon and Incubation Program. Sota Watanabe has clearly set this collaboration with big Japanese companies as one of his main goals. Lately he announced several of them. He really focuses on connecting and networking with these big Japanese enterprises. He seems to be very well aware that even the best technology will have a very hard time getting into mainstream without a very strong narrative and without a close collaboration with reputable Japanese companies. Recently Sota Watanabe expressed his desired narrative for Astar very clearly. Clearly, he aims for Astar to be officially backed by Japan and Japanese government and adopted by large multinational companies originating from Japan. So this seems like an adoption which will go from the top to the bottom, the opposite to what other blockchain ecosystems strive to do. Whether or not this will be the right strategy, we will know probably already by the end of year. Anyways, back to the Web3 incubation program, also many big VC companies will participate. As expected, they'll be looking for investment in some of those most promising and progressive Web3 startups. So it should be a win-win situation for both Web3 startups as well as for these venture capital companies and hopefully eventually also for all STR holders. Also, Web3 Foundation and Alchemy will have their presence in this incubation program. Alchemy is quite a big Web3 development company building decentralized apps. The main enticement for participating Web3 startups is that they'll have a chance to get into Sony's field of vision and they might even receive an investment from Sony. The program will be co-hosted with Startail Labs. Startail Labs is a Web3 company based in Singapore developing Web3 apps and infrastructure and Sota Watanabe is the CEO. And also several well-known VCs will take part as mentors in this incubation program. So based on all available information thus far, this will not be some small underground Web3 session, rather the opposite, a large-scale multinational Web3 event including big money and big Web3 Web3 players. Incubation program has already received over 80 applications. Astar has simply been on fire in the last few months. I expect summertime will be a very exciting period for Astar network in terms of adoption and ecosystem growth. And especially June will probably be a very busy month for SOTA and Astar as in June many blockchain events will be held across Japan. Thanks for watching and see you next time.